Hello, this is a short video to show you a nifty new and totally free plugin for Beaver Builder called Timed Content for Beaver Builder. And what this plugin does is it allows you to display or hide Beaver Builder content at set times and dates and even allows you to set an expiry message as I've done below here in this example. Now this is freely available from the WordPress repository so you can either download it there or you can install it from the back end of your WordPress site. And it is created by Brainstorm Force who you might know as the people who also created the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder among other things. Now before I move on I've got to say a big thanks to John Brown of tlconline.co.uk for coming up with the idea and for sponsoring the development of this plugin. I know John a little bit from our own private chats, but I've not met him in person, but I do believe he is in the south of England in Southampton. So big thanks to him. Now, if you don't want to install this yourself and test it out, you can come and use my live demo site. So I'm just going to head over to the homepage. The link will be below, but it is at free.beaverjunction.com and what you'll need to do is to go over to this field here and answer this simple capture question press try demo give it a moment to create a new install and then head over to this section here brainstorm force plugins where there's a bunch of free stuff from them and there's maybe more than i've got here and then head to timed content so let's go and take a look at that on the tab that i've already got open with the page builder open too, so we can take a look at the module. Now, once you've installed the plugin, the first thing you'll need to do is be able to drag out one of those modules. So you'll find that by going to the Beaver Builder sections and looking under their advanced modules. And if you scroll down, because it's alphabetical, to the T's here, you'll find timed content and you can drag that out into any row or column that you like. So let's take a look, and I'll just move this out of the way at this one which I've set up. So this one has got time content which is due to expire in about 100 years. So let's just open this one up. And here we are. So we're the first tab that we get is one called content. And that's where we can either place our content like this. So this is the default content here where it gives us this WYSIWYG editor and I can add in my content as I've done here. But we've also got the option to be able to use any of our saved rows. So let me just do that. So it'll pick up on what saved rows I've already got. And I've got one called adverts here. So in a moment when this ball stops spinning, it should show that saved row. There we are. So that's one save row there. We can also choose to select any of our saved modules and even our page templates as well. Now let me just go back to the content one here. Now just something to say on this because it is a module and if you want to do something like what I've done here, you're probably going to place that in a row in a column and each of these are going to have their own padding. So in this case, I've set this in a column, I've added the background color of blue using the column background and it had some padding. Now, if I don't want that padding to show when this disappears, I'm gonna to need to make sure that I zero them out and then add in some space in here, which I've done in by just really actually adding this non-breaking space either side to create that, just to make sure that when this does time out in a hundred years, it's not gonna leave that blue background here with just the padding. Okay, so that's that. Let's take a look at, at the settings and this is where we set our times. So I can set my time zone, which is London here. We've got pretty much everything that you could need. And we can set our start time, which I think when you open this up, it defaults to the present time anyway. So you don't need to set this if, you, if you're running it and only expiring this. It's only if you need to set this for a future date that you'll need to adjust the settings here. And finally, we've got the end time. And the last option here is where we decide whether we're going to display an expiry message or not. If we just want it to hide, we just leave it hide content and that module disappears at that time. But if we want to leave a message here, we can type in what we like and add this in this WYSIWYG editor over here. And we can do a little bit of styling with this too. If we go over to typography here, we can see our expiry message here. We can decide what we're going to have as our header, what font family from all of the 
Google fonts we can choose from. This we can set the size, the line height, the letter spacing also for that text and set the text color. And we can do exactly the same here with the content. And now I've left it here as the default. So that's just what is coming through from the theme. But we can also choose to set the, the color here, which I've done here. I've set this to white, so that shows there. And I believe that's all I can show you here. I think this is really useful, particularly if you've got perhaps a promotion that's coming on for 20% off and you're gonna build your site and set this for a later date and just want to set it to come on and disappear without having to think about it. I'm sure there's plenty more uses for this. So thanks again to uh, Brainstorm Force and for John for coming up with this and making it freely available to us all. If you like this video, then please give me a like. Maybe you might even want to subscribe to this channel. And if you didn't like it, then just let me know why. Hopefully I'll see you again in a video soon. Okay, bye-bye.